Hello and welcome once again. So you can see I've got a really teeny tiny walnut shell and a miniature mouse sleeping inside it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this. You can make your own following the video. And it's really easy to do, but it's so tiny. So you have to get used to making tiny things. And if you're into it, you can go for it using a skewer to shape the mouth and the body of the mouse together and I'm just rolling some wool and I've taken a really small amount really thin piece of wool because you don't want to get too thick as it won't fit into the walnut shell so as I shaped, shaped it rolled it and check the size now I'm going to felt it down so I didn't take much of the wool and I needed uh, right there I stabbed myself so I needed a pointy uh, face and as I'm felting it I'm going to roll it down so it's in a sleeping position this way and I'm going to felt it down so I'm just rolling it in the whole structure and then felting it so as you stab it it's going to take its shape and I want a pointy mouth because the mice have a pointy head so I'm just shaping it and once I'm happy with the shape, I can add more wool to the head. But right now, I just want a little teeny tiny point and a rounded body. And it has to be rounded so it seems like it's sleeping. And it has to be really small so it fits into the walnut shell. So I've kept the shell with me just to see that I don't go any bigger. It's a bit tricky doing really teeny tiny things, but they're equally enjoyable because it's really fun adding the details. So right now it looks like a, like a worm or a slug. As you can see, I've made the point and I'm adding more wool to the head, leaving the tip out. So that won't be covered with the extra wool. It's just the head part that I'm covering. So I don't lose the pointy end. And then I'm going to felt it down. I'm using a single needle because it's so tiny you can't use your multi tools on it and you have to do everything with a single needle but it doesn't take too much time because it is so very small but yes the details take time You have to use your fingers to keep pinching the nose, the nose of the mouse, so you get, you don't lose that point. And I'm just going over it to make it nice and firm. And I'm squeezing it, like rolling it over, so it doesn't lose its shape and doesn't go straight, because it has to be in a sleeping position and rolled up you have to keep rolling it and felting it down
I haven't speeded up this video, it's not on time lapse, but mm, just speeded it a bit, but not much. So you can see the details because it's so t very tiny. I wanted it to be really clear. As you can see, I'm shaping the head and the back, and you have to keep felting it until you're happy with the firmness. Where the eyes are going to be, they're really tiny. I'm just making a point where I will make my eyes. taking a little more wool and adding it to the back to the bottom of the mouse because I want it to be a bit rounded because these are going to be the hips and the thighs so it's, it has to be a bit rounded still shaping it and it does take time because it's so tiny and you have to do it really carefully and go round and round around the whole parts of it so you have to keep your hand moving on all parts and to keep shaping it as you can see I'm just form like shaping it with my fingers and I'm going to fell down over the head you have to be really careful you can wear the finger guards and check again if it's going to fit And I think it has taken shape. And I can move forward. Now I'm going to give it some brown color. And I'm using carded brown wool. So just placing and seeing how to go about it. And I've started from the head and I'm going to go down body. When the color is added, you'll see that the shape is more prominent. And I'm adding very little shreds at a time.
way I'm using the multi tool because now the shape is well done and it's firm enough and the color can get right into it the brown part done I'm going to add a lighter color to the belly part I've taken it really light brown I'm going to cover the front part of the mouse with it brown shades down the back and the nose now I'm taking I've taken little shreds of wool and I'm trying to form little tiny thighs so just tiny circles on both sides so they look like thighs and for the eyes I've taken very small shred and I've Felted it in where I had marked the eyes with my needle. So they have to be really tiny shreds because they're just uh, closed eyes, so 
and just have to make the marking and very tiny eyelids as you can see I'm adding more wool just below the eyes and tiny pink nose Now I'm going to show you how I made the limbs, the hands and the feet actually, not the limbs. So I've taken a toothpick, I'm rolling really thin shred of light pink wool, it's a merino top. And I'm just going to give it two or three rounds, I'm just going to twist it around the toothpick and take it off. Because if you do more rounds, then it's going to be become big. And we want really tiny ones so this is how I made the hands and feet just showing you one and you have to make four of these so the feet can be a little bit bigger and the hands can be uh, smaller just twist the wool twice around twice or three times around the toothpick just rub it in your palm and you can shape it with uh, a thinner needle so I've made four of them now I'm going to attach them to the body as you can see the brown part I've just made little circles that look like thighs so the feet are going to be just against that and on the upper body I'm going to attach the hands and then I'm going to cut off the extra bits With the hands and feet attached, I'm going to make uh, small ears and I've just made a circle out of wool and felted it down. You can use a felt sheet if you want to. I think it's going to be easier with a felt sheet. You can just cut circles and attach them because they're so small that they are a bit tricky. I'm attaching them to the head and as you can see they're placed and for the tail I've just twisted some pink wool and just felted it down and you can make it longer and then you can cut it off I'm attaching it to the back and I've just felted it down to the body so it's attached to the body the whole thing you can use a yarn piece of yarn for the tail if you want. I hope you like this tutorial and I enjoyed making it. Thank you very much.